Kia ora everyone. Today we're going to have a look at testing a class one appliance for earth continuity in accordance with ASNZS 3760. Before we start a quick word about what is a class one appliance, what do I mean there? So ASNZS 3760 is the standard we use for in-service safety testing of electrical appliances. Essentially anything you plug in, uh, cords, extension leads, appliances, tools, uh, multi-boxes, anything like that. There are two types of appliances that fall under ASNZS 3760, Class 1 and Class 2. Class 1 appliances are earthed appliances, that is, they have the exposed metal casing of the appliance connected to an earth wire which goes back through the plug to the earth pin and ultimately back through our installation wiring to the earth buzz bar in our switchboard. Class 2 appliances do not have this. Class 2 appliances are otherwise known as double insulated. Uh, there are two layers, at least two layers of insulation between any live part and any exposed metal and therefore don't require to be earth. Uh, so for uh, earth continuity testing, Obviously, if there is no earth on a class 2 appliance, we don't need to test it. Hence, this video is about uh, earth continuity testing of a class 1 appliance. As I said, the primary reference for this type of testing is ASNZS 3760. So let's have a quick look at that now. Here it is, and I've already found the uh, section that we're looking for. ASNZS 3760, as I said, safety inspection of appliances otherwise known as testing and tagging, commonly in industry. And we can see here in section 2.3.3, earth and continuity, to confirm that the resistance of the protective earth circuit is sufficiently low to ensure correct operation of the circuit protecting device. That would be uh, our circuit breaker in most cases. The continuity of the protective earth and conductor from the plug earth pin to accessible earth parts of a class one equipment shall be checked. That's the key thing there. So we need to test the resistance between the earth pin of our plug to the earth parts, accessible earth parts, otherwise known as, or commonly known as, the, the metal body of that appliance, right? Such equipment shall be tested in accordance with Appendix D, which you can have a look at yourself. That's a test of earth and continuity. Uh, that describes the process, which I'm about to show you. Uh, it shall have a measured resistance of the protective earth circuit or the protective earth and conductor that does not exceed 1 ohm. So very simple. All we need to do for this test is to check the earth continuity between the earth pin and the body of the appliance, and it must be less than 1 ohm. Basic test should take you about 30 seconds. Let's have a look at what we got here. I have a toaster, it's a fairly typical toaster, pretty beaten up and used. And as you can see here, plenty of metal on the outside of that appliance. Uh, that should all be earth. This is definitely not a double insulated appliance. Uh, we can see, if you have a look inside there, we can even see the uh, the elements there, there's certainly not two layers of insulation between the live parts there and the exposed metal of the body of the appliance, and hence there's no chance that it's going to be double insulated. So we do need to test the earth continuity for this appliance if we are doing testing and tagging. For this test today, I'm going to use my trusty multimeter here. Uh, if you're not sure how to use this, you've seen my earlier videos on functions of a multimeter. And I'm going to turn that to the ohm scale. And I'm choosing for this one 200 ohms because that's the lowest scale. Before I start, I give that a quick test. I just want to make sure, prove that my meter is working. And I should be able to do that just by touching the meter leads together. And we can see that the resistance measured there, 0 0.3 ohms. If you can't quite see the decimal point on the video there, you'll have to trust me, that's a 0, 0, 0.3 ohms. So what that's telling me is I have a good continuity, my meter is measuring continuity, and I have a good continuity through my leads of 0, 0.3 ohms. All I need to do for this test then is place one probe 
onto the earth pin that's the bottom pin which is also you can see a little bit longer than the others the bottom pin of my plug and I go directly to the metal body of the appliance and I should get a reading of less than 1 ohm as it said in ASN ZS3760 there and in fact we, have, we find that 0 0.5 ohms and I can test that at various places on the body to ensure that it's about the same or certainly not worse and everywhere I test it I'm getting roughly the same reading 0 0.4 there Into here, there we go. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 again. And that is it. That's all I need to do for that test. Just need to ensure that it's less than 1 ohm. In this case, it's showing us 0 0.5. It is worth noting, of course, that when I just proved my meter at the start there, it showed. A resistance of 0 0.3 ohms that's the internal resistance of the meter and the leads themselves so I could infer from that that in fact the uh, protective earth and continuity in my toaster is probably uh, more like 0 0.2 ohms because if I remove the resistance of my leads from that uh, it's going to be slightly less uh, in most cases well in this case it doesn't matter it's still come up with a reading that's uh, significantly less than 1 ohm which is fine if I was getting a reading of around 1 ohm or maybe 1.1, then how much resistance is in the leads of my meters uh, might be important. But in this case, we don't have to worry about it. So that's it. Very simple. Uh, how to test the earth continuity of an appliance. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I will endeavor to answer. Thanks very much for your time. See you at the next one.